on Friday, May 20th, Collier County received their visit from the NOAA and U.S. Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircrafts, both of which are critical resources used in hurricane hunting forecasting. This is one of the few times a community can get excited to have a Hurricane Hunter aircraft visit. The visit is part of NOAA's efforts to build a weather-ready nation and raise awareness about the importance of the upcoming hurricane season, which begins June 1st. In Southwest Florida, our hurricane history, we've been lucky. Uh, if you go back to 2004, there's a lot of people down here said, you know, we went through Hurricane Charlie, and I beg to differ, because unless you were in Ponta Gorda, you didn't go through Hurricane Charlie. We didn't have a lot of storm surge with that storm, and so a lot of people said, well, you know, it wasn't that bad down here in Collier County. And then if you remember when Wilma came through, that one again, we saw more surge down in the Keys, not as much here, had a little bit around Marco Island, some of the low-lying areas, and a lot of people said, hey, we've been through a hurricane, it wasn't that bad. You haven't been through a bad hurricane. This area is one of the most prone communities for storm surge across southwest Florida. And that's why with Dan Summers and others, the local emergency managers are telling you it's time to evacuate. It's time to evacuate. I'm from FEMA. I'm going to tell you one thing. We do not order the evacuation. We support the governor and the state. We spent a lot of time working with our partners at NOAA, the National Hurricane Center, and the Army Corps of Engineers to give the local emergency managers the best tools to determine who is in the evacuation zone. So as we get ready for the 2016 hurricane season, I got some ask. First ask is, do you know if you're in an evacuation zone? If not, get with Dan and get with the other local emergency managers and find out today. Because if you live in an evacuation zone, your plan is to evacuate when the order is given not wait another six hours and see if the forecast gets better and unfortunately on a day like today you may get that evacuation order it's a blue sky sunny day and you're going why do we need to go it's not bad yet do you know how long it takes to get people up i-75 to to a safe location literally we're going to have to many cases see evacuation start the day or more before we ever expect the impacts of the hurricane so it's important to know your zone, have a plan, and if it's time to go, go. The NOAA G4 nickname Gonzo is part of that agency's fleet of highly specialized research and operational aircraft. It flies at high altitude around and ahead of the tropical cyclone, gathering critical data that feeds into the forecast model. We have some really, really talented people that have been doing this for a very, very long time. We take the appropriate measures to get our aircraft out, conduct the research, do the job, and get back safely. It's extremely rewarding for me to be on top of a storm looking down and saying, my, my, how calm it is up here and how violent it must be down there. And it's just such a rewarding experience to know that the, the job that I'm doing to help collect this information is gonna hopefully save somebody's life on the ground. Collier County Emergency Management, local public safety agencies, the American Red Cross, and several local NOAA National Weather Service forecast offices joined the event. The event also hosted over 500 local 4th and 5th grade students, which are sure to take the message of hurricane preparedness home. Well, it is about getting the message out, and we've kind of got a new theme this year, and we're calling it Reboot Readiness. You know, just when something's wrong with our computer or our smartphone, we reboot. Well, we haven't done any serious hurricane preparedness in a long time. We haven't pus pushed the message out because we haven't had a significant storm in a number of years. So this is a great way to reboot our readiness, bring some awareness to hurricane preparedness, making sure, as the officials said this morning, know your evacuation zone, listen to information from local radio and television from local government. Our office and Board of County Commissioners working with the municipalities will get that preparedness and uh, evacuation notices out to you, but stay in touch, stay ready, and don't wait till the last minute. And we kind of, we sort of zero in on those fourth and fifth graders. We found out they're very good messengers for taking the information home. So while the parents may not have been here or the parents may not pick up on all the social media resources or uh, internet resources that we have, we think these children, children will be good messengers in terms of hurricane preparedness at home. For more information on hurricane preparedness, go to callyourem.org.